Hello, and thank you for purchasing the ultimate and outboard-powered boat control, the Hellmaster system from Yamaha. I'm David, Yamaha's Hellmaster delivery captain, and today we want to acquaint you with how the Hellmaster system operates and show you how to get the most out of it. Hellmaster from Yamaha is a fully integrated total boat control system, meaning that all of the components of the system are designed specifically to work together to make operating your boat easy, convenient, and fun. Whether you're operating in open water, in the confined areas of a marina, or when docking your boat, the Hellmaster system is always there to make control of your craft simple and effective. Let's take a brief look at what the Hellmaster system includes. We'll cover these components in more detail in subsequent chapters. First is the electronic key switch, or EKS. It's used to turn the engines on and off, as well as to activate and deactivate the YCOP theft deterrent feature. Next is the helm, which allows the operator to provide steering inputs, like any steering wheel. At the heart of the system is the Hellmaster Digital Electronic Control. It controls the shifting and throttle functions of the outboards and also provides a unique blend of functions concerning boat operation that not only make your boat more efficient, but more pleasurable to operate. The 6x9 Hellmaster display provides visual data in real time regarding the outboards and various boat systems. Its appearance and the data it displays can easily be configured by the operator. And perhaps the most notable feature of the Hellmaster system, the joystick. When activated, it allows 360 degree motion of the boat, including movement in any desired direction, via simple inputs through the joystick mechanism. There you have it, an overview of the Hellmaster fully integrated boat control system. Now, let's take a closer look at the individual components of the system. The Command Link CL7 touchscreen display is the command and control center of the Hellmaster system. It's a full featured display that includes GPS and chart plotting capabilities and a built in gateway that allows output to approved NEMA 2000 devices. While we won't have time to cover everything this amazing piece of technology can do here today, I'd like to take a few moments to acquaint you with some of the more common screens and commands you're more likely to see and use. Now before we begin, let's first cover a couple of pieces of useful background information. First, experienced boaters who use modern electronics will recognize many of the functions and screens within Yamaha's CL7 display. Garmin was chosen by Yamaha to manufacture the marvel that is the CL7 display. In so doing, Garmin brought to the table proven reliable hardware, and reliability is what Yamaha is all about. They also offer screens and functions which boaters and fishermen find very useful. So we asked them to include those in the finished product also. We're confident you'll find this combination not only incredibly useful, but that the Yamaha CL7 display can also help you be a better boater and fisherman. Second, you'll notice that as we move through a few of these items today, that various screens can be accessed in more than one way. One example would be being able to quickly access the setting for your backlight intensity by simply pressing the power button two times in rapid succession. Quick access like this is not meant to confuse you, but rather to make it so there's more than one way to get there from wherever you may be within the display's functions. Now let's take a closer look. After a brief appearance of the power-up screen, you'll come to what's called the engine screen. On it, you'll find information about fuel level, fuel management data, engine speed, boat speed, trim level, selected engine functions, and more. This is the base screen you'll see while operating your setpoint system, and from it, you can access other screens and other functions. For lack of a better term, you can also think of it as your return screen. 
If you wind up a bit confused while operating your CL7 display, no worries. You can always press the engine button to instantly return to this familiar screen from anywhere within the display. Additionally, most screens have a back button that allows you to return to the most previous screen, which many times will be the familiar engine screen. If you don't see a back button, look for a done button, which takes you out of whatever function you're in altogether. Note that from the engine screen, you can swipe left and see a performance summary type of screen that gives you the information you have asked the display to show you in a quick and easy to read block type format. Another swipe to the left and you're visiting the home screen. You can also swipe right to access these screens in reverse order. Swiping to additional relevant screens is available within other screens as well. On the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a button marked Set RPM. This is used to set the maximum RPM for Fishpoint's high mode, should you need it for heading correction while in the Fishpoint mode. At the bottom of the engine screen, and all screens actually, is a hidden menu you can access at any time by sliding up from the bottom, like this. It's from these choices you can customize your settings and utilize a host of different functions. We won't have time to discuss them all here today, so we'll concentrate on a few of the more popular ones. First is the Info button. Press it and you'll see a display of various options you can use to get information and to customize your screen. One screen you can access from here is marked Engine Information. This button allows you to see and set things like trip data, engine trim levels and percentages, tank types and capacities, alarms, trouble codes, and maintenance tracking and reminder information. It's very well worth your time to become familiar with what you can do and where you can go from the info screen. Next is the home screen. Here is where you can see and set parameters about your gauges, including what type and manner information is displayed on the main engine screen, as well as access various charting functions. Press Settings while in this screen, and you'll be able to see and or set things related to your system, your vessel, alarms you wish to receive, communications instructions, and your personal preferences. You'll also notice access to additional screens and functions on the right-hand side while you're in this screen. Next up is the Menu screen. This is where you'll set or reset various pieces of information required by your system, things like tank type and capacity, fuel flow calibration, trip information, and set your full down trim level to zero. You'll also notice a mark screen for working with the GPS functions within your CL7 display and an SOS button, which can help provide valuable information in an emergency at sea. You'll find more information on these and many other screens and functions in your owner's manual, which is conveniently located inside your CL7 display. It's easy to access through the info button on the hidden menu screen. It contains detailed information about setting your CL7 display up the way you want. Be sure to take time to acquaint yourself with your owner's manual and how to access it should you ever need to reference it again in the future. One thing to always keep in mind is your Yamaha CL7 display depends on satellite signal for many of its functions. You can check your strength of signal right on your engine screen by looking in the upper right hand area. A word of caution here. Your Yamaha CL7 display is a sophisticated electronic device, but it's just that. It in no way replaces your skill, common sense, and responsibilities as a boat owner or the captain of your vessel. Become familiar with it and use its many capabilities and the information it provides to make your boating fun and enjoyable. But don't depend solely on it to keep you informed and safe. While it can help you in that regard, safety, staying informed, and responding appropriately to current or anticipated conditions ultimately is up to you. The engineers at Yamaha, in cooperation with professional guides and recreational fishermen, have put together a totally new suite of functions called Setpoint. Yamaha took the agility and the ease of control that Hellmasters become famous for and combined it with new technologies to provide way more than just an automated positioning system. It's got some cool and well thought out capabilities that can help make you a better fisherman. 
With the touch of a button, set point allows you to hold your position as well as your heading, or hold your position using low power so you don't scare off your intended quarry, or drift via wind and current while still maintaining heading. First thing you'll most likely notice is that set point brings with it Yamaha's CL7 touchscreen display. This is the Mac Daddy of Yamaha displays, featuring a full suite of controls for Hellmaster, set point, and other boating functions as well as providing all of the engine information necessary to operate and keep tabs on your Yamaha outports. It's through the CL7 display that you can set up set point to be most useful to you with just a few taps of the screen. And if you have a guest captain, they can quickly and easily configure it the way they like best. It's easy. The CL7 display is required to access set point and to set it up according to your preference. It's also here that you'll input how you want set point to operate and receive vital information and any cautions or warnings that may arise. It should be noted existing Hellmaster systems can be upgraded to offer setpoint. There are three modes within the setpoint function. First up is staypoint. Like its name, staypoint gives you the ability to stay on the point you choose, both position and heading. Unlike some competitive systems, Staypoint uses a unique dual antenna GPS in order to give the Hellmaster system more information to work with, thereby giving it greater ability to provide very precise control. Second is Driftpoint. Driftpoint allows your boat to drift with the wind or the current, but maintains the heading you select, or to put it another way, the direction you want your boat to point. This is particularly useful when drift fishing, kite fishing, or even just spending quiet time with family or friends, watching an awesome sunset, for instance. Third is Fish Point. Fish Point is a unique way the advanced technologies in the Hellmaster system work with you to help you be more effective at fishing. Fish Point maintains your position, but does not regulate your heading. It works by using your knowledge of current conditions to help position, or point, your boat in the path of least resistance relative to wind and or current. You have the ability to choose fish point bow or fish point stern to properly position the bow or stern into the wind and or current depending on the scenario or type of fishing you want to do. And since it uses only minimal RPM to hold your position, it won't scare the fish. It's perhaps the most useful method for stationary fishing directly below the boat. You can access these different modes directly through the Hellmaster joystick using the button marked point. You can choose two of the four modes most useful to you and have those at the ready via the joystick by using a short press for one mode and a long press of two seconds or more for the other mode. Since conditions and captain's desires can and do change, you can change which two of the four modes you wish to have represented by each press through a couple of quick taps on the Yamaha CL7 display. To do this, simply press the set mode key in the upper left hand corner of the main engine screen. This is the screen you'll most usually have displayed while operating your boat, so there's no need to go looking for how to find it. Just pick the ones you want and how you want to access them on the Hellmaster joystick. You can quickly change these in this manner too, in case you or a guest captain who might find the third or fourth mode more useful. Now, let's take a look at how to set each mode and talk more about how to get the most out of each. We'll do this using three separate scenarios. There are times in most any journey when you need to stop and hold position and heading. Maybe you're waiting for a bridge or holding just outside a marina waiting for another boat to clear. Or maybe you're waiting your turn to approach a fuel dock. There's lots of scenarios I'm sure you can think of. Well, that's the time to use stay point mode. To make the most of this mode's capabilities, slowly approach a point where you'd like to stay and orient your boat in the desired direction. Return the throttle levers to neutral. Remember, you have to be in neutral to do anything via the Hellmaster joystick. Press the point button. In this instance, we've set it for the short press. The system marks that position and heading and then uses its dual antenna GPS and Hellmaster's independent outboard articulation and thrust vectoring to help maintain that spot. The lower the current and or wind, the tighter adherence you'll have to the spot you picked. In fact, Staypoint is programmed to maintain your position within 10 feet of your mark or set point if conditions allow. Should you find yourself in higher current or wind conditions, the Hellmaster system will use higher RPM 
and greater engine activity to keep your vessel as close to the mark as possible and within a 75-foot circle of your set point. That's nearly twice as tight of an objective tolerance of competitive systems. If possible, set your boat up into the current or wind and avoid broadside conditions when currents and winds are high. If necessary to hold your position, you can ask the system for more thrust by activating the high mode on your joystick. Please note, however, that many boats actually respond better at a lower RPM setting, as the water is less disturbed and the propellers can bite the water better. Therefore, as conditions in the loading of your boat change, only you can determine the max RPM setting that is best for your current condition. Should your vessel move beyond the chosen 75-foot circle, your CL7 will beep at you and display, unable to maintain position, would you like to return to the set point? Selecting no or doing nothing will allow your boat to continue on its path. Select yes, however, and something very cool happens. The boat will actually begin to turn while it determines the path of least resistance and then return to your marked set point. Once there, the CL7 display will beep at you again to let you know you've arrived. Additionally, since the system better understands it was not able to hold your previously chosen heading, it will attempt to better maintain the path of least resistance heading over your chosen spot. Now, if that's not cool and useful, I don't know what is. And that's only one third of what Setpoint can do. Now, here's a scenario about every captain I know has been in. Let's say you're working a wreck, or perhaps kite fishing, or maybe you just want to float down the current with family and enjoy a beautiful sunset. This is the ideal time for Yamaha's drift point mode. Using the dual antenna GPS that is the heart of the Hellmaster system, drift point does just what its name implies, allows your boat to drift, but stay pointed in the direction you choose. Go ahead, play the wind, play the current, use them to your advantage. Hang kites off the downwind side, or maybe drift fish a wreck on the upcurrent side without tangling lines or keep your stern facing that incredible sunset so all your guests can see it. You'll find any number of ways to make Drift Point your favorite. Experienced captains know to point their bow or their stern into the current or the wind for better control. They also know that low RPM and minimal shifting is key. After all, you don't want to make any more noise than you have to to hold over top of the fish. This is the perfect time for Fish Point. Fishpoint allows you to maintain your position without using high RPM, which helps maintain quiet. Add in the super quiet shifting of Yamaha's shift dampener system propellers, and you've got about as quiet as you can get, short of physically dropping an anchor. Simply approach your spot quietly and put either your bow or your stern into the current or wind. That's the path of least resistance we talked about earlier. When you reach it, put your throttles in neutral and select Fishpoint bow or fish point stern by depressing the set point button using the short or long press that you've preset. By using the wind and or current to help stabilize the boat's lateral motion, fish point maintains your position using minimal RPM, typically just in-gear idle, and only forward and reverse thrust to help keep the boat quietly oriented in the direction you've selected. In this mode, you'll notice that the outboards do not articulate. The Hellmaster system simply uses the outermost outboards to provide thrust to twist the boat into position using the stern as the axis point. In addition, in the case of triples or quads, the center engines are not used while in fish point. You can manually turn them off when in this mode to save even more noise and a bit of fuel in the process. Because it uses such low RPM, your boat's response to movement is naturally slowed. Therefore, if a bit of current, a wave, or a gust of wind grabs and turns your boat, just be patient. The system will detect that movement and begin working to return you to the set point you've selected, using no more than a low RPM to do so. If needed or desired, selecting high mode on your joystick when this occurs in this mode will help bring your boat back around quicker. It's important to remember safety first when using Hellmaster especially set point and any of its three modes. To disengage any of the set point modes, simply press the point button a second time. Or to disengage the joystick function altogether, either press the joystick button a second time or bump the throttle levers on the active station. Moving the throttle levers even a little instantly turns off all joystick functions. Yamaha strongly suggests a qualified operator always be at the helm and that no one enter the water while the set point or the Hellmaster systems are active, 
or the engines even running for that matter. Should anyone approach the boat from the stern anytime any mode of the set point system is active, whether in the water or on another boat, brilliant and bright system active lights will be illuminated and flashing. These are meant as a warning that the propellers are active and that the boat can suddenly and automatically move in any direction. But don't depend on just lights and built-in safety features. Remember, you're the captain, and the safety of the vessel and those on or around your vessel are your responsibility. Please, use this technology wisely and only in the way for which it was intended. Read your owner's manual and be thoroughly familiar with how your system operates and how your boat responds in different situations, conditions, and with different loads. Take time to learn your system before you depend on it. You'll be safer and you'll enjoy your experience all the more. So that's set point. Stay point for position and heading, drift point to maintain heading, and fish point to maintain position. Three different modes for better, more useful control of your boat. I'm sure you'll find many ways set point can help you make boating and fishing even easier, more convenient, and more fun. If you have any questions about set point or any of its modes or Hellmaster itself, your authorized Yamaha Marine dealer can give you more details. Or you can visit our exclusive Yamaha Marine website, yamahaoutboards.com. The Hellmaster system in your particular brand and model of boat was carefully calibrated at the factory to provide proper performance. Since every boat and boater is a bit different, however, you may find that the way you load your boat or the conditions in which you typically operate it causes the joystick to not produce the true sideways motion you'd like. No worries, joystick calibration is a simple procedure that you can do to help it adjust to your boat's current needs and conditions. Let's take a closer look at how to do this but before we do, a couple of reminders that will help you get more out of your Helmaster system. First, joystick calibration need only be carried out if your boat's movements do not correspond to the straight sideways joystick movements you're providing as input. For instance, your bow or stern lags behind when you're commanding your boat to move directly sideways. Second, when calibrating the joystick, the boat must be driven on open waters in safe conditions. Don't attempt to do this in the tight confines of a marina, and avoid attempting to calibrate in high winds or currents. Doing so can influence the effectiveness of the calibration. Third, allow the boat to move a fairly long distance during the actual calibration procedure, and be sure to hold the joystick firmly in position during this time. If you lose your grip or otherwise compromise the positioning of the joystick during calibration, no worries, you haven't yet locked in your new settings. So keep after it until you're satisfied. And lastly, please know that the calibration procedure does not have to be performed in both directions, port and starboard, if only one direction needs correction. Calibrate only the movement and direction you wish to address. Now, let's get to it. First, for everyday operation, make sure your boat is loaded normally and that conditions are normal for your typical operation of Hellmaster. If you're on a special sojourn, you can adjust your boat's joystick output to specific loads and conditions. It's up to you. You can do this as many times as you like, or for whatever reason. Just make sure to keep in mind the points we just mentioned. To enter the calibration mode for Hellmaster, first ensure that you are not in joystick mode. The green light on the joystick button should be off. Then, press and hold the joystick button for five continuous seconds. A message will appear in your Hellmaster display. Once it does, release the joystick button. You will know you are in joystick calibration mode at this point because both green LEDs on the joystick and the high mode button will be flashing back and forth. Now, it's best to return your Hellmaster joystick to its factory default setting. Do this by pressing the joystick button while the joystick is in the neutral or center detent position. This returns all calibrated settings to a factory default and ensures that you are not attempting to recalibrate a setting that is too skewed to allow for proper correction. At this point, the system has completed that request, so it's necessary to re-enter calibration mode. With the engines running and the joystick mode turned off, again press and hold the joystick button for five continuous seconds 
and you see on your display the message that you've now entered the calibration mode. Now, move the joystick full sideways to starboard. If the bow and the stern of your boat do not move to starboard at the same rate, twist the joystick in order to correct the lagging end and straighten up the boat, all while holding the joystick full sideways. If during this procedure your boat moves slightly forward or aft, Use forward or aft movement of the joystick to correct it. Remember, the front of the joystick represents the bow of the boat, and the rear of the joystick represents the stern. The further you move the joystick, the more power is exerted and the more movement you'll see from your boat. So take your time and only seek to straighten up your boat. You don't want to rush or overdo the motions. Once you have the bow and stern lined up when commanding a straight sideways motion, simply push the joystick button again while holding the joystick in that position. This locks your sideways setting for starboard. So from here on out, your boat will move as you've requested when in those same conditions. Likewise, if you've noticed a lagging or leading attitude when commanding your boat to move direct sideways to port with the joystick, Simply re-enter joystick calibration mode and repeat this procedure for the port sideways movement of your boat. Please remember that there will always be conditions that arise that will cause your boat to temporarily depart from true sideways motion, even if you've already calibrated your Helmaster joystick. A gust of wind, higher than expected seas, strong current, or even different loading. Rather than recalibrating your joystick, you can respond to these conditions and simply correct this by combining a twist of the joystick handle with your command for sideways motion, like this. Helmmaster and Joystick Calibration. It's all about new levels of ease, convenience, and control. Your Yamaha outboards and the system are turned on and off using a push button electronic key switch, or EKS. Conventional keys are no longer necessary. As a theft deterrent feature, the functionality of the Yamaha exclusive YCOP system, or Yamaha customer outboard protection, is built in. Using a small radio frequency key, known as a fob, the YCOP system is activated and deactivated by physically touching the fob to the electronic key switch. The touch is necessary as the key fob has no batteries. The key switch has to recognize it in order to arm and disarm the system. Because it has no batteries, the key fob floats. However, we strongly recommend you attach a highly visible float of some sort for quick location should you accidentally drop it overboard. Two key fobs were included with your Helmaster system, and two more can be programmed into your system by your authorized Yamaha Marine dealer, for a total of four. It's a good idea to leave one at home in order to quickly reprogram additional keys in the event of loss. Should you happen to lose all the key fobs, the system can only be returned to operation by a Yamaha Marine factory service representative. When boarding your boat, Disarm the YCOP system with a touch of the key fob. You'll hear two short beeps, indicating that Helmaster is ready to use. Press the ignition button for each engine and then press start stop. It is not necessary to hold the stop start button, just press it once and release. If your boat is equipped with triple outboards, simply pressing the all start button once will start all engines sequentially from port to starboard. In the very unlikely event that one of your Yamaha outboards fails to start using this feature, the all start function will cease. If this occurs, simply use the individual start buttons located on the electronic key switch. Once the outboards are running, pressing the start stop button again will immediately stop each outboard. All outboards can also be simultaneously stopped by using the All Start Stop button. Once stopped, pressing the ignition button again turns off the ignition. A convenient timeout feature can be selected to turn the ignition off after 60 minutes. Handy, in case you forget this step. Once you have returned to the dock and are preparing to leave the boat, 
Activate the YCOP system with a touch of the key fob to the electronic key switch. You will hear one short beep, indicating that YCOP is active and that the ignition and the fuel injection systems have been disabled. When in this state, the engines cannot be re-enabled and started except via your key fob. Hellmaster components include a completely digital helm, or steering wheel, which uses electronic circuitry from the helm to the rear of the boat. This means no hydraulic connections to bleed or possibly leak. The digital helm features an easy tilt mechanism. For added operator comfort in any condition or position. The friction, or resistance, provided through the steering wheel is RPM sensitive. Meaning, the faster you command your engines to go, the more resistance you'll feel when operating the helm. The reverse is also true. As you throttle back, steering friction automatically becomes lighter. It's a lot like the speed-sensitive steering most modern cars offer. It's light and easy when you're in a parking lot, and becomes stiffer and provides more feedback as you go faster. As you slow down, it gets light and easy again. Should conditions dictate, such as using lower throttle settings in heavier seas, steering friction can easily be set to a firmer setting. Press the right arrow on the directional button to choose steering friction on the menu bar, located at the top of the display screen. Selecting heavy will firm up the steering wheel and keep it in that mode until returned to the normal setting by the operator, following the same procedure. One of the coolest parts of the Hellmaster system is the Digital Electronic Control, or DEC as we call it. It's got a selection of functions that make operating your boat easier and more enjoyable. Hellmaster Digital Electronic Controls are ergonomic and easy to operate and offer a host of operator convenience and control features. Throttle and shift functions are the same as with any binnacle control mount. Handles are moved slightly forward to engage forward gear and engine throttles are advanced as the handles are pushed forward from there. Engine RPM are automatically synchronized between the outboards through nearly all of the RPM range. Keep in mind that while doing this, the steering friction is automatically increasing relative to the movement of the handles. Conversely, bringing the handles back reduces the speed and also the steering friction. A master engine trim button is located atop the port control handle which trims all engines in or out simultaneously. Individual engine trim buttons are located near the fingertips on the forward side of the control assembly. On the front of the control are six push buttons, each controlling a different function. This is where the magic really is. On the upper left is the speed control button. Pushing it locks your current engine RPM, similar to cruise control on your car. But unlike your car, it can be activated at any RPM, from in-gear idle all the way up to near wide open throttle. This is particularly useful when trolling or running in the mid-range for long periods of time. Once speed control is activated, engine RPM can be adjusted up by 15% or down by 10%, simply by operating the center button on the forward portion of the control. It must be pressed individually, as holding the button will result in only one stepped increase, rather than a continuous increase or decrease in throttle. Please note that when speed control is active, the individual trim control for the center engine is automatically converted to the speed control function. Throttles can also be manually manipulated when in the speed control mode, and the throttle up, throttle down button function will be active from whatever setting the operator moves the throttle handles to. 15% up, 10% down. Pushing the speed control button again deactivates the speed control. Engine trim is one of the most vital aspects for proper and efficient boat operation. It can be difficult to set, 
especially for a new captain. No worries, let Hellmaster do it for you. Trim Assist is activated by pressing the button in the top right corner of the digital electronic control. When activated, the engines will automatically trim to settings pre-selected by the operator as the throttles are advanced past pre-selected RPM points. When pulling the throttles back, the outboards will trim down at the same settings. Full down trim is the first setting, and there are up to four trim settings after that. Note that trim percentage values for all five set points must be entered in order for this function to operate. These are quickly set up by first determining the trim angle values. These values are easily accessed through the 6Y9 Hellmaster display by pressing Menu, then Settings, then Calibrate, and finally, Trim Level. In this setting, operate the boat manually and determine the best trim settings for up to four given RPM settings and record these. Please note that you must use the full down trim as the first recorded value and that it must be at idle speed. It does not have to be set to 0%, however, that base setting is recommended for nearly all boats using the Hellmaster system. Once all trim values are recorded, stop the boat and enter these values into the Hellmaster system by pressing Menu, Settings, Calibrate, then Trim Assist. Enter the values you have recorded and then exit the system. Remember, you must enter a value in all five positions and position number one must be set as idle RPM. The trim set points and their values are now permanently recorded in the Hellmaster system. Whenever this function is active and those preset RPM are achieved, the engines will automatically trim to your entered settings. Trim Assist will help ensure your boat is operating at the most efficient attitude toward the water. It can even help save you fuel and hassles. It's especially helpful when handing the helm over to a guest captain. Let's look at some of the other cool things the Hellmaster system can do via the DEC control box. If your boat is equipped with a second or upper station, you can quickly and easily transfer control of the system by pressing the station button. Once activated, a lock button will illuminate, indicating that the primary station is locked out and that the system inputs can only be accepted through the secondary station's controls. The three buttons on the bottom row can be activated only when the outboards are running and in neutral and are deactivated again by pressing each button. The single lever button allows all outboards shift and throttle functions to be controlled via the port shift and throttle lever. When in this mode, the starboard handle may be placed in any position for operator ease and convenience. Both shift and throttle levers must be in the neutral position before the single lever mode can be engaged or disengaged. On triple outboard configurations, the center engine button allows operation of the center outboard via the port shift and throttle lever. This is helpful when trolling or attempting to balance operating hours between the engines. The free throttle button allows the engines to be revved up while in neutral. Although this is not needed for starting the modern four-stroke Yamaha outboards Hellmaster works with, it is handy for charging onboard batteries connected to the engine's charging system. The 6Y9 Hellmaster display gives the operator instant information about the operation of the outboards and selected systems on the boat. The type of information and the manner in which it's displayed is all selectable by the operator. Important engine information like gear selection, engine trim settings, and engine RPM, and vital system status information like oil pressure, engine temperature, and battery voltage can all be simultaneously displayed for quick and easy viewing. Fuel management numbers are an easy view, and vital boat systems information like levels for up to four tanks, fuel or otherwise, are or can be easily visible. 
You can even display water depth and surface temperature on boats equipped with compatible sensors. You can change the appearance, color, and layout of the displays according to your preferences and can output information to other NEMA 2000 compatible displays. For more information about how to set your display to your liking, consult the owner's manual that accompanied your Helmmaster system or visit YamahaOutboards.com under the Owner's Resources tab and look for Owner's Manuals. Helmmaster is a fully integrated, complete boat control system, and a key component in providing the outstanding ease and control that Helmmaster offers is its joystick controller. The Helmmaster joystick combines shift, throttle, and steering control into one simple-to-use device. Operation is intuitive. Just move the joystick in the direction you want the boat to go. While doing so, you can make corrections for external factors such as wind and current. The system translates those operator inputs using variable thrust direction and amount to create the movement the operator has indicated via the joystick. Let's look at how it does this in a little more detail. The Hellmaster system uses independent steering pumps and an intelligent steering cylinder, one each per outboard. This allows the engines to move independently of one another when in joystick mode. Software safeguards built into the system and the intelligent steering cylinders prevent the outboards from contacting each other. The joystick also controls independent forward, neutral, and reverse of the outboards, as well as independently throttling each outboard. This makes the boat capable of moving in directions never before possible with outboard power. Forward and backward, of course, and rotating in position is also possible. But what about side to side? Ever seen a boat parallel park? How about move diagonally? And all of this with only the touch of one hand. Want to know how to do it? Envision the front of the joystick as the bow of the boat, and the back of the joystick as the stern. The sides of the joystick represent the respective sides of the boat. The center detent position is neutral. To move the boat in any direction, simply move the joystick in a similar fashion. Bear in mind that the more distance you move the joystick, the more throttle response you'll get. Up to a point, of course. It's also best not to return to the center position, as that will unnecessarily bump you in and out of neutral. Rather than bumping the shift and throttle levers like you do with a conventional setup, simply continue to command the boat with the joystick in the direction and the amount of throttle needed to get to your desired point until you reach it. Let's try some simple movements. Watch as we demonstrate. First, to enter joystick mode, the outboards must be running and the throttle handles in neutral. After that, simply press the joystick button on the joystick itself. It should be noted that, to disengage joystick mode, simply press the button again or manually operate the throttle shift levers. Either will immediately disengage the joystick and return the remote control box and the steering helm to normal operation. When first entering joystick mode, you'll hear the engine trim and the steering pumps as the outboards enter independent articulation mode. This will cause the outboards to skew slightly outward in a somewhat odd angle to the beginner. When operating Hellmaster, it's best not to focus on the position of the outboards themselves, but rather pay attention to where you want the boat to go. To move the boat straight forward, simply press the joystick forward. Remember, the more you move the joystick, the more throttle response you'll get. You can also combine different movements to reach a desired effect. During forward operation, the boat is steered by rotating the front of the joystick toward the direction you want the bow to go. A little motion moves the bow a little. More motion of the joystick moves the bow faster and with more authority. The same principles apply in reverse. Remember, the rear of the joystick represents the rear of the boat, and the more you move the joystick, the faster the stern will move, and with more authority. Now here's a move I know you multi-engine boaters will understand. It's rotation on the boat's axis. Using a conventional throttle arrangement, it's done by putting one throttle in forward and one in reverse, all while not touching the wheel. 
Helmaster does all of this for you, simply by rotating the joystick in the direction you want the boat to spin. Again, the more you move the stick, the more engine power is exerted, and the faster the boat spins. Now let's try a new one, sideways operation. Again, facing forward, the port side of the boat is represented by the port side of the joystick. Starboard side of the joystick, starboard side of the boat. To move the boat straight sideways, simply move the joystick straight sideways, using less and less movement of the joystick as you get closer to your desired destination. Oftentimes, things such as wind, current, and even the loading of your boat can negatively affect overall boat motion and responsiveness when in joystick mode. This is corrected with a simple twist of the joystick while holding the sideward pressure. Whether the bow is lagging or leading, a simple rotation of the stick will get your boat back on a true sideways tack. Your boat will handle differently depending on load. Heavy loads may have to be balanced correctly to allow for full function of the Hellmaster system. A heavily loaded boat will also have a slower response rate to the joystick inputs. If current or wind is present, causing the boat to move backwards or forwards of the intended mark, a diagonal stick movement in the opposite direction will compensate for that, while still creating a sideways motion of the boat. In short, the boat will move where and how you point the joystick, and you have the power to correct for things like current, wind, and drift. Need a bit more power to help compensate? Simply press the high mode button when in joystick mode, and you'll get an extra boost of power to help you get there. Please note there may exist extreme current and wind conditions that require actions other than joystick operation to move the boat effectively. Now for a demonstration of the stern first docking procedure using the Helmaster joystick. Even if this has previously been an intimidating aspect of boating for you, don't fret. With Helmaster, it's much easier. And grabbing your lines off the pilings has never been easier either. Keep in mind that while doing this, your Yamaha outboards may be operating simultaneously in forward and reverse, and at different RPM. This will create a seemingly skewed RPM reading on your Helmaster display. Additionally, you may notice large thrust plumes under and beside your boat as the engines work to create the motion you've commanded. This is completely normal and not harmful in any way to the boat or your Helmaster system. You'll also note a third button on the joystick marked point, and it's one way to activate Yamaha's exclusive set point function. We'll discuss what this button does and how to use it in greater detail in a separate chapter. As you can see, the Helmaster joystick eliminates the need for expensive bow or stern thrusters in all but the rarest instances. With a little practice, Helmaster makes operating your boat easier. Now you can relax and enjoy boating more than ever before. So, as you've seen, Hellmaster makes boating more relaxed, more enjoyable. But what about the rare instance where the system may be compromised, or even malfunction? No worries, corrective actions are most times simple as the Hellmaster system itself. The 6x9 Hellmaster display will tell you what the issue is and what to do about it. The Helmaster system operates multiple power steering pumps and related electrical equipment using current drawn from the starting batteries. When this message appears on your 6x9 Helmaster display, it simply means your batteries have begun to discharge. The fix? Simply activate the free throttle button and allow the engines to run for a few minutes at a fast idle. This will greatly increase the charge output of the alternators and help replenish your batteries. Very rarely, you'll see warnings issued through the gauge. Should this occur, 
The Helmaster display will outline the immediate actions to take. After having done so and getting your boat back to port, it's best that you get your boat checked by an authorized Yamaha Helmaster dealer. Although rare, here are the two you'd be most likely to see. During a low voltage warning, your Helmaster display will look like this. It means your batteries have reached a more critical level of discharge. During this time, the response of your steering will be slowed in order to consume less battery power. If this occurs, put the boat into neutral, push the free throttle button, and rev all engines to about 2500 RPM. Any RPM higher than that is not needed. This will help maximize the alternator output to the batteries and more rapidly recharge them. If at all possible, please reduce or discontinue the causing action. In the very unlikely event this warning appears on your display, it means that something has caused one or more of the outboard steering systems to malfunction. This will require activation of one or more of the bypass valves. In the dry bilge area, near the stern of your boat, will be devices that look like this, one per engine. If just one outboard is malfunctioning, only address the bypass valve to that one engine. If all engines appear affected, then all bypass valves will need addressing. Turning the selector knob to open will allow the engine to move freely. Turning it to closed will lock the engine into place using hydraulic pressure. Depending on your situation, you may wish to leave an engine's bypass valve in the open position, which will cause the outboard to trail the others by water pressure against the sides of the lower unit. You may also elect to open the valve Straighten the engine by hand, and then lock it in place by moving the valve to closed. If the affected engine is a port or starboard engine, and you're only in low speed operation, you may wish to hard over the affected outboard by hand, and then lock it in place using the closed position. In the very unlikely event of a total steering failure, Open all valves, straighten the outboards, close the valves, and use the throttle and shift levers to steer the boat back to port. The chance of you ever experiencing situations like this is very slight, but it's always best to be prepared. For more information, please read and thoroughly understand the owner's manual that accompanied your Helmaster system. We recommend that you keep a copy of it on board at all times. When trailering your Hellmaster equipped boat or when storing it with the outboards tilted up, it's best to install the steering clips that were provided with your system. These are quickly and easily installed by snapping them over both sides of the engine's exposed steering cylinder rod, as illustrated here. Using these will prevent inadvertent side to side movement of the engines and help eliminate stress on internal steering pump components. Please keep in mind it's also best to use an approved tilt-stop mechanism to reduce stresses on your power trim and tilt pump when trailering. Also, your Hellmaster system requires very little maintenance, but it's important that you do your part. Mostly, this maintenance involves periodic visual inspections and attention to some items like grease points. Checking the steering pumps for proper fluid level and condition is of key importance. If low, Add only C-Star electronic power steering fluid or Chevron MD3 automatic transmission fluid. Use of any other steering fluids may cause permanent damage to your system. You'll find the complete list of things to keep an eye on and actions to take in your Hellmaster owner's manual. Please read and thoroughly understand it and do your part to help ensure your continued satisfaction with your Hellmaster fully integrated boat control system.